Okay, so today we are going to make a 3D drawing of the motor that you're going to use for your project. And you can see on your screen an example of what it should look like. You can see that it's a cylinder with another cylinder coming out of it. So I'm going to delete. everything on the screen and start from the beginning so as always we need to tell on shape where to where we want to sketch and I'm selecting the front and I'm gonna say sketch and we're gonna pick a center point circle You can make the circle anywhere you want on the screen, on the face. Now uh, we need to give the first circle a dimension, um, say what the diameter was. So remember up here is the dimension tool. Click on it, come down to the outside of the circle, click, drag. I'm going to say what the dimension of the motor housing should be turns out it's about seven eighths of an inch so all we need to do is seven then slash then eight enter and that's a seven eighths inch circle now we need to say how long the motor housing should be so we're gonna have to use the extrude tool to stretch that circle out I'm gonna say click on extrude Right now the circle's already selected, so I'm just going to say how big. And notice this is new material because there was no material in the first place. And it's about 1.25 inches. Now it might not be best practices to have inches and uh, millimeters in the same drawing, but for our purposes uh, we're going to end up doing that today. Just going to make it simpler, easier. So I'm going to say check and we have a circle now that is 7 eighths inch in diameter and 1.25 inches in um, length, depth. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this uh, circle because we need to add another cylinder on top of this cylinder. So we're going to say sketch tell it where to sketch right on top of that cylinder go back over to circle and once again we're gonna pick a center point circle And now watch because this is a kind of a, a neat um, helpful trait or characteristic of on shape if I put my cursor and as I get closer to the middle it should light up because on shape understands that I'm trying to center this circle in the center of the existing circle. Notice if I'm around the circle, it's going to put it wherever I am. But if I get close to that, uh, the center of this circle, it's going to assume that that's where I want um, this new circle. And in this case, it's right. So I'm going to click, drag, and there's my circle. Now we need to mention this circle. This is going to be the axle that sticks out of your motor. And so I'm going to go up to the dimension tool, come down to my littler circle here, click, drag, and like I said, we're going to mix up our inches and millimeters because it would be hard to get the fraction uh, of an inch that this is so in, in in millimeters it's two so two we have to add mm and on shape will understand that we want this to be in millimeters and so it gives us 0.079 inches is what two millimeters would be fine now we need that axle to stick out of the um, big circle because if we turn this sideways you can see as of now it we have the right diameter but we don't have any length so we need to extrude this 
Notice, it should change from new to add because we need to add more material on top of the existing um, cylinder. And the depth of this uh, axle is 10 millimeters. Again, it's kind of hard to do that in inches. It's easier to put it in millimeters, so make sure to add the mm and check it. And now if we use our arrow tools, you should see something that resembles your motor. That's it.